Um, in terms of surrendering, it has been a process. And I would say for my early teenage years, there have been points on my journey where I've had to come to a choice to follow Jesus, to surrender other things in my life, to follow him. That would be a career. Uh, I remember getting to a point where I had to choose whether I was going to follow a career, which would have meant moving uh, home and moving area. Um, and I felt very clearly God say not to do that. So that was a point of surrender. There were a number of points of surrender along my journey that I see were part of the process of the circle of the deep, bringing revelation of God in a way that brought about a, a cycle of change that I went through that brought me into a deeper relationship with God and into deeper revelation per se. Um, but ultimately, the key to surrendering for me was not me making a choice to surrender, but actually brought to a point where there was nothing left. I gave up everything. And that happened in, in 2011, 12, when I went through a dark cloud experience. There's many testimonies out there of that and videos of it on online, as well as I did a whole conference on it. And I think our next book um, uh, in the Sons of Rise series will be the dark cloud experience. But essentially, God brought me to a point where my soul and the control of my soul over the rest of me to sort of produce my own identity from what I was doing, even though I was doing the things God wanted me to do, but my soul was in control of that process. God showed me the state of my soul by, I think, removing the spirit, the spiritual authority I had over it so it came to the surface and you know essentially i was horrified by what i what i did in terms of questioning god and wanting to know what god was doing you know and it was all to do with who i was who he made me to be but i was using that in a sense of validating myself through what i was doing and i'm redemptive gift prophet teacher therefore i want to know how things work how understand them teach that teach other people about them and he took me through a stage where I couldn't see anything everything was black um, and I couldn't understand it this didn't seem fair and I accused God and ranted for six weeks or so just couldn't get it and eventually came to the point of genuine surrender there were several points of where I said I surrendered but I didn't but when I actually surrendered was when I chose to trust God even when I didn't know what he was doing even when I didn't understand, even when I had no idea, I would trust him. And I made that decision. It was almost at that point, it was like, I am going to live in misery if I continue like this. Actually, God, I trust you, even though I don't know what you're doing. I make that point of trust. And from that point, what happened is that my soul and spirit were separated and reintegrated the connection from my soul to my spirit, which was for independence and was coming the wrong way from outside in. Um, God severed that. He reconnected me. That enabled me to live in, in the realms of heaven and earth at the same time. Everything changed from that point. So it was a, a fairly dramatic experience that God took me through, triggered by me wanting a deeper relationship with God and producing a ketubah which is the marriage contract between me and God, but getting it all wrong. And the marriage contract for me was what I wanted from God, from the relationship. Well, actually, when I got to the point of surrender, I realized it was totally about who, what I gave into the relationship, not what I expected from God, but actually what I chose to give, surrender everything into that relationship. And I did, you know, and that changed everything in that my relationship with God went deeper and deeper and deeper because I now trusted him. I didn't need to know. And now he was free to show me because I was not going to use it in my own strength. I was not going to use it uh, for my own purposes within that uh, process. So there have been since then, that was the, a key time. Everything changed. Everything increased at that point when I genuinely surrendered, when I didn't need to know when I chose that my redemptive gift, who I was, was not going to get in the way of my relationship with God and my intimacy with the Father, then everything changed. Now, for everyone, it's different and they may go through different experiences. 
I was able to go and experience the very presence of God, the, the person of God, let's say, whereas I was engaging his presence and then I engaged his person very, very little. But then over the last six years, I've gone through various stages or 10 years now of that process going deeper and deeper and deeper with a precept of God being revealed, a process of change and transformation as I surrender to that precept. So it's an ongoing process that brings about maturity, ascension into who God always intended us to be. But it is a process. You know, I went through deconstruction of my mind, deconstruction of my beliefs. All sorts of things happen when I surrendered. I don't think those things would have happened had I not surrendered because I wouldn't have trusted God in the way I did when I didn't understand going through deconstruction is quite a major process and when all your beliefs and everything you held onto are all being deconstructed and it's like what do I believe who really am I then you need to trust God and I trusted him implicitly to allow him to take me through those ongoing processes that would continue to bring me into maturity so you can't make it happen you can choose you can decide my and desire let's say I want to surrender. I want to have nothing which is hindering my relationship with God. But you've got to let him take you through the process. I don't think you can force the process. See, I try to, in a sense, shortcut the process. And now I look back and I realize I'd gone through a garden experience of intimacy. Then I went through a, a dance floor process of coming into a revelation of, of more of my destiny then i went through a soaking room process which is what this process of surrender was where i was in a sense softened up got ready for the uh, sort of ongoing process of that going into deeper and i went into the, the marriage um, with god uh, in the bridal chamber of intimacy in which I went deeper and deeper into that revelation of intimacy by experience that I just let him take me on the journey, lead the way, show me, give me the experiences, embrace the experiences, let the experience change me. I didn't fight it. I didn't resist it. I just allowed it because I trusted the father implicitly through that process. And it's an ongoing process. I'm sure there's more that he'll take me through. Um, but I know he loves me. He's a God of unconditional love. And therefore I'm willing to accept everything he does in my life is because he loves me. He is a good God. Even when I don't understand, even when I don't have answers to my questions, I know he's a good God and I know he unconditionally loves me. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.